Although Wi-Fi dead spots are far from fatal, they can indeed become annoying when you continue to experience disrupted Wi-Fi connectivity. Luckily, there's no situation without a solution. Today, let's figure out how Wi-Fi dead spots emerge and how Wi-Fi technology can help tackle them. Wi-Fi dead spots are specific areas, be it in your office, home, or public spaces, where a wireless network signal is absent, leaving you with no internet access in that spot. Wi-Fi dead spots emerge for several reasons. These include the performance capabilities of network devices, such as their ability to manage network traffic or the number of wireless connections they can support. Nevertheless, most challenges usually boil down to the placement of the networking device in the area and the location of physical objects surrounding the device. Suppose you set your router up in a corner surrounded by brick walls and metal objects. Physical objects made out of such materials block the Wi-Fi signal, which complicates the task of Wi-Fi radio waves penetrating walls and reaching every nook and corner of your space, eventually creating dead spots. But as I said, there are ways you can bypass these troubles. And no, there's no need to permanently alter the building structure. One of the most tried and trusted methods of overcoming such challenges is using Wi-Fi mesh technology, accompanied by several access points or routers spread around the area. One of these devices will act as a gateway and the rest will function as nodes. Such a system will enable you to create internal communication between these devices and extend your Wi-Fi coverage, thus improving its performance. But that's not all Wi-Fi mesh provides you with. You can configure one of the Wi-Fi nodes the way you like and using a backup configuration, apply the same settings across all other connected devices. And since you've established internal and cohesive communication between several networking devices, you can then employ Wi-Fi mesh to enable a self-healing network architecture. Now this means that Wi-Fi mesh technology permits your networking devices to reroute their communication in cases where one or more devices go down. This is done to sustain continuous network performance. Nearly all Teltonica Networks routers feature Wi-Fi mesh technology, so if you want to know how you can configure it on our devices, there's a video link in the description box below. The configuration we present in the how-to video includes step-by-step -step instructions on how to enable Wi-Fi mesh using root OS. You'll find an example of how to configure both a mesh gateway and nodes, as well as ways you can test if the configuration was successful. Additionally, if you want to get a more practical taste of this technology, you can also find a couple of use cases down there too. Hopefully, this video helped you grasp the essence of Wi-Fi dead spots and Wi-Fi mesh technology. We also hope you will no longer have to deal with the buffering or the absence of internet access. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you enjoy this type of content and leave a comment below with topic suggestions for our upcoming videos.